Hey guys, turlets and stuff here. Um, here's uh, my uh, today. Right now, I'm going to be doing a video about uh, the difference and the advantages of ball cocks and fill valves. Um, personally, I like ball cocks a lot better, um, mainly because the flow of water is more. It's better thought out. Let's say there's less restriction compared to a fill valve. And another thing about fill valves is. I don't like the fact that this cup is around this, this, uh, whatever, this tube, because I've seen cases where this tube gets mineral buildup on it, and this cup starts to get really hard to push up, and it eventually just gets stuck down, down position. So I don't think this is a very good idea. And plus, you can't replace these cups that they leak, and these ball cocks are more versatile in terms of adjustment. And in terms of parts, how easy they can be replaced, and the fact you don't have to replace it one unit. Having said that, this in itself is a lot cheaper. Though these can cost um, twenty dollars for like a plastic one. These are usually nine to fifteen dollars, depending on what what you buy, what things. But the thing I have against these is the fact that the, the flow of water is not as well thought out because it's more restrictive. There's a little small tube that goes in the center then it goes up to here where there's a little washer which basically when the fill valve gets hot it put, put, puts pressure down in here. There's actually there's a fulcrum point right here and that when this rises up it pushes that down and cuts off the flow to the rest of the, the valve. But the, these are more restrictive, and they don't fill up nearly as fast. And another thing about these that is superior, that's the, one of the reasons why I like them, is because um, the flow of water is more continuous because the tube doesn't get restricted at all. Because um, it's all one size throughout the whole entire thing, and there's just a valve up here. It opens and closes and allows the water to come in smoothly. These have a lot more restriction, and it just doesn't—it just doesn't flow as well. Another thing about these, which I kind of agree with, is ball cocks usually pay because they're more expensive. Usually, get a much better part, and they last a lot longer than these, especially Fluid Master. Um, Fluid Master used to make good stuff, but nowadays they've been kind of flunking on the stuff that they're making and they're not making nearly as good a product as they did you might get 10 years out of a fluid master nowadays but back then you can get like 15 20 years but nowadays good luck getting 10 years out of it and that if you're using chlorine or something in your toilet that is debatable whether it, that that's definitely going to affect the longevity of your just basically don't use toilet bowl cleaner in your tank because those little pucks because it, it eats away at the, the seals and you have to replace these like every three years so just don't use those but anyway these usually last about 10 years these you can get 15 to 20 which this this style is not what i'm talking this is not the style that i'm generally talking about in terms of the plastic ones the ones i'm talking about that are plastic are basically they they're like this with the restrictive design but they have um, a ball and a rod, which makes them easier to service and more versatile, which is why I like them. Another thing is I'm going to talk about is different materials. Brass ball cocks are extremely expensive, but they might, they, I have one that's 100 years old. And if you buy a good quality brass ball cock, it'll last you probably for the rest of your life. If you take care of it and don't put bleach and stuff in it. Now, if you have hard water, that's debatable. It might not last nearly as long but because it might fill up with minerals, but um, that's pretty common even if you buy a plastic one. So, But anyway, don't if you do buy a brass ball cock, do not buy the cheap ones or the one uh, because uh, the, the brass won't be as high quality. And basically what happens, uh, the brass is not pure. It gets it, The casting is not as good. The brass, as it ages, it gets brittle. And because that casting is not high quality, it was brittle to begin with. It'll start, the pieces will literally snap off. I've seen that in a video where a guy replaces a brass ball cock and the arm is broken. That should never happen, ever. 
if that happens, that means you're buying really cheap products and they're not good. You should not use them. They're they're very low quality and they they're they're just terrible if the castings are breaking like that. So if if you're buying if you're gonna go brass, buy a good brass one. Now plastic, I actually if plastic is more preferable price wise, but there's actually nothing I really have against plastic. Plastic is kind of a better material to be in water anyway, so I prefer plastic. It's just mainly I like it to look authentic when I'm rebuilding a tank. If the tank's like from the 50s or the 20s or from maybe the 60s, if it had a brass cut ball cock, if it would have had a brass ball cock, I don't really like to look authentic, so I buy a brass ball cock. Anyway, basically I prefer the the bra this design of ball co the ball cock design because it's more straightforward, it's easier to work on, and it's more versatile in terms of adjustment and part replacement. These are less versatile, um, they don't work as well, and they're cheaper, so they're not going to last you as long. So that is basically it for the video, and... Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think of this video. If I can, uh, things I can do better, things that you want me to do, uh, suggestions, yada yada yada. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this, and I hope you're all having a nice day, and bye bye.